Alright, and we are live. So greetings and salutations, people of the internet, and welcome to the bar. I'm Sip Cup, your humble bartender and entertainer for whatever time of day it happens to be for you. And welcome to Sippy's First Drink. If you're unfamiliar with Sippy's First Drink, what I do here is I have a variety of games that I try out for uh, 10 to 60 minutes apiece, and then offer you my unfiltered first impressions review. The next game we have up is Tandem, A Tale of Shadows. Now, I did do this one previously uh, on... Uh, during the the one of the steam fests um, I played the demo, but that was not in direct order uh, And it also flat out said that there was stuff missing blah 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 You know the common demo stuff, so we're gonna see what kind of difference there is between Old tandem original tandem and uh, With the demo and now I'm gonna I'm actually real quick checking Do I still have what I gave Tandem Demo written down. Or was that before I was actually, yeah, it was before I was actually making note of my ratings. Okay, so, Tandem, Tale of Shadows. This is not the demo. And the reason that I haven't started it up already. Thomas K. The only son of the famous Kane illusionist still hasn't been solved by there Scotland Yard. Ten-year-old Emma, huh? intrigued, is determined to investigate. It gives you the story cutscene right here. The streets of London, towards the mansion, a carriage passes her at full speed. And a teddy bear falls out of the window, unexpectedly. Fenton, the teddy bear, jumps onto his feet and sets off in pursuit of the vehicle. Without thinking twice, Emma joins the race, launching after him. Okay, Fenton. We don't know each other much. But we are going to have to help each other find Thomas. Can I count on you? When did when did the teddy bear introduce himself as Fenton? What's going on here? Hey, what's the matter with you, Fenton? Stop that right now! You're scaring me! Oh my god! I don't like crowds at all! How? This overwhelming shadow lives in many things and seems to hide many more. And what is this crystal made for? Okay. Uh, hold on a second. I don't remember it giving me story like that last, uh, with the demo. I mean, yeah, the intro bit, but not... Run. Switch. Okay. More or less the same as it was before. And now we have... There we go. That was really bright. A door and a button. Still in the gardens. Ah, oops. Hmm. 
Oh. I kind of wish I could make him run. Is that it? Just collect the thing and move on to the next level? Which is fine. It'd be nice if I could make him run. It'd also be nice if I didn't have to watch the, that the you got the thing cutscene at the end of every single fucking one. Okay. Grab. All right. Farts. Some more or less standard stuff. I just really, really, really wish that I could make. Like, you get to make the girl run and the bear jump, and that's it. The girl does not get to jump, and the bear does not get to run. That changes a whole lot, doesn't it? Really? A 
Okay. Switch. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Oh. Well. Not really sure how Fenton is supposed to be able to help out on this one. And I can't rotate it. Oh, I can get by. I didn't realize. It didn't look like the kind of thing that I could squeeze by and get around, but... I saw... The spider's on the ground, which... Okay, that's not cool. There. Oh, wait. Okay. Easy. I think it wouldn't be so bad if they weren't like something about their features is is off and uncomfortably off. There 
Of course, by their features, I mean her features. Like, whenever it zooms in on her, it's just like... She's, she's plasticine. Not fair. Okay. There. I think that should be fine. And at least I don't have to worry about teddy bear being seen by the fucking spiders. Also, why are there such, like, why are there mechanical deadly spiders? This is just someone's backyard. But that's the new thing that I have to deal with, is mechanical deadly spiders. Okay. Okay, that was fucking dark.
Okay, so you get from there. I'm trying to figure out how to get this all lined up. Grab it. There we go. Figuring out how to get that to line up just right. Kind of difficult. It's like, it's like the first Toy Story. That's the level of graphics. It's this very uncomfortable plasticine thing. Do it. Okay. What does it do if I can't go back home? And it should notice her.
Fuck. Okay. God damn it. Okay, I don't like this at all, but it's it's the way of the things. Hate it. All right, it's not that bad, I suppose. No. Oh, fuck. Get fucked. They'd be dead. Wait patiently. Don't have to do anything. Just have to walk down. Honestly, she could have lunged over the fucking hedges, but whatever. Zigzag. So there's definitely more to this than there was in the demo. Seriously, how am I that unable to jump? Are 
Like, I need him on that one. But I apparently can't make that jump. And that doesn't count as solid ground. What the fuck? Okay. No! What the fuck? I can reach where I need to reach. I found a secret in the spider's found den. A secret. Will Fenton always be there to protect Thomas? There's uh, quite a few things going on here. There we go. I'm assuming I can. Yep, cool.
Wait. Okay. Alright, so that's where I'll be putting the spider when I get the spider trapped. But to do that, I have to get Fenton. Across. Seems like it's gonna take some damn doing. Ah! What the fuck? understand why that killed me. What the fuck? Do I have to get him all the way up above? Because that's not feasible. For him to get up and over like that? Unless I'm missing something. I mean, it should just be... Get dude from here... To over there. Through that door, right there. Why can't I go through the door? What are you wanting me to do, game? I need him to avoid the spider. Oh. 
I need the bear to avoid the spider. I don't, I can't get the, and this, me right here, light goes both ways. Light should go back into the other room. switch when I'm on solid ground. I don't, I don't understand this at all. Like, I understand how to get him locked in. I just don't understand how to get my dude from where he is to where I need to be him to be. understand what I'm doing wrong here. Like, this level is... feels broken. In its current state. It feels incredibly broken. There's... Hold on. Maybe. Maybe that's the trick. That's the trick. Okay, that's the fucking trick.
Okay. I was just being slow. It makes sense. It doesn't, but it kind of does, I guess. There. I still don't understand why my dude here can't fucking run. Because it, he's a stuffed animal and doesn't have the musculature? Is, is that what we're going to go for? I spent way too long on that. Jack in the box. And this had a wand in, on top of it, so I'm assuming this is the last level of the first area. Is this a boss fight? Oh god. Oh god! So, he can't touch the trees at all. Which is fun. Okay, yeah, that's that's great. My favorite. I need to position this in such a way Great Fair Not really, but whatever There we go Oh good, spiders now.
Ow. Okay, fun. That's just awful. Okay, so sprint past them. Oh no! Okay. I'm fine. Jack in the box here? It's enormous! Yes! Fenton! Are you okay? Let's get out of here before this gets worse. Okay, um, let's, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. So, I like, I still like the idea of it, I really do. It's just the execution and some of those puzzles are... Well, no, they're right. They're right. They're not completely bonkers. I the logic of some of the like mechanics is kind of bullshit. Um, a lot of bullshit actually. Uh, uh, if you're standing in a doorway, light should shine on both sides of the doorway. That's that's how light works. So the light mechanics are kind of crap. Um, then there's there's also. Uh, uh, there's also the, the, the voice acting is, bleh. I get it, English not first language, try, I, 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 I totally understand, it's just, it's not great, um, when did we learn Fenton's name in the story, not that that's a huge piece on this, because the story is kind of, um, the, the imagery, specifically of the girl, makes me very uncomfortable. It just, it does not look, uh, it looks like a caricature of what a human should look like. It does not look human. It does not look cartoony. It does not look... It does not look right. At all. Um, the music is okay when the music is there. Uh, uh, the controls are alright. There Again, there's a lot of that that... Hangs on... The ability for the light mechanics to work the way the light mechanics are supposed to work. And... These don't all the time. Not the way they're supposed to, anyway. Um, but I still like it. Uh, it's just not very good. Um, it's, it's like a cool idea that's been poorly executed. I'm still probably going to play it just off stream. Um... But if I'm, if I'm being honest and not trying to be nice, 
uh, I, I give this one probably a six out of ten. Uh, it, it's it is more functional than the games that I've given a five out of ten, where it's like this functions as a game. Um, but all of these weird problems that it has, like it doesn't have any glitches or game breaking bugs. It's just the light mechanics don't work the way the light mechanics are supposed to work. How light really works, really functions, and when that's your primary mechanic, it's kind of broken. Um, and the character design is fucking creepy. There's there's no two, no two ways about it. Uh, also, what, what do you define as solid ground? Because anything... That definition is funky. The story makes no sense. If if I were trying to play this for the story, I'm fucking lost. I'm playing this for the light mechanics, and that's it. Uh, I'm playing this for light puzzles, and that's the only reason I'm playing this. So, 6 out of 10. Do you think... Do you agree? Do you disagree? If you're watching this on YouTube.com slash SippyCup, let me know down in the comments. If you're watching this live on Twitch.tv slash TalkingBoxesNetwork, uh, let me know in chat. Um, if you want to watch more of me, if you're new to the channel and enjoyed the content, please do consider giving me a follow. Check me out on my various other social media at Sippy Cup Games on both Instagram and uh, Twitter. And of course, where I stream regularly, uh, you won't see this though, on twitch.tv slash Sippy Cup Games. I'm currently doing uh, Final Fantasy XIV, but I have a bunch of other games that I will be trying out in the near future. But that is going to do it for me for now. So thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I raise my glass to you. Laters.